Morning, Ronnie. Morning. You know, you were a terrible salesman last year, and look at you now. You're acting like a regular Centiline or a Rica Corp. What's going on? <laughs> well, it's all the market. We just follow the market. When the market is bad, we don't sell. When the market is great, we sell. Am I supposed to? Should we read this as Ronnie Chan thinking the market has topped out for the time being? Therefore, he better unload hundreds of apartments in the last six months at nice prices before the going gets rough. Well, luxury apartments prices ebb and flow. Sometimes it rises, sometimes it falls. We just took advantage of the opportunity last August when prices were really hot and hence sold uh, 400 some units. Mm -hmm. And wh what are we looking at? You know, you can't please them, can you, out there? The, the, uh, the, the stock, your stock actually took a dip in the afternoon yesterday because people were thinking, oh, he should come in with 5.7, 5.8 billion dollars. I mean, you know, what do they want? You were up 1,800 percent from last year. You just can't please these folks. Are you upset? No, we just do what is right. We know what we are doing. Uh, it is really the substance of the company over the long term that matters. Mm -hmm. Short term fluctuation doesn't bother me. What does the uh, current momentum look like? Are you going to rack up another 400 sales, uh, S&P, uh, P&S agreements in the, uh, in, the, in the current half? Well, the market is very uh, difficult to predict, mm -hmm. but uh, there's a possibility that we may sell more even before the fiscal year is over, but before June 30th. But on the other hand, uh, even without it, I think we sold enough to have a uh, good profit for the year. And we'll be talking about the China property market in a second. We're talking about Hong Kong for now. You don't see any kind of a bubble, though, huh? You know, people like Jim Rogers, another good friend of mine, has been saying, whoa, this thing's gotten way overbait, and we're set for quite a tumble to come. But you don't, you're not worried about that at all. Are you talking about mainland China? No, talking about Hong Kong. Oh, Hong Kong. We'll get to China. No, no, no. Hong Kong has no bubble. Uh, High-end residential, very expensive. Mm -hmm. But 7% of the total market, 8%, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's really the mass residential that is important to the society.